it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And today we're going to be talking about copper nighttime wires and how they're different from regular nighttime wires. Um, slightly different properties and maybe something you want to buy, maybe not. I kind of like the idea of having maybe like copper nighttime and just 18 nighttime upper and lower. There are indications for it. So for example, I mean, you can see on my type it on here, there's a few brackets broken, but let's see, for example, first wire here, what would I use? Maybe 12 night tie on the top or 14, um, maybe 16 on the bottom. Now, if I had copper night tie, I could probably pull off a 16 or an 18, which is a slightly bigger wi wire, which is nice because you can do it you can have a slightly stiffer wire so you don't have to change your wires as often. So maybe you save a wire. And the way that the copper night tie works is that you can use endo ice like this. Okay. Don't spray it directly. Ooh, frosty. Um, don't spray it directly in the patient's mouth, but it changes the properties of the wire. I mean, you could just use an ice cube too, right? But so that it's easier and more malleable. Um, so normally this would be tricky to get in, right? Um, but if I change the properties of the wire and keep it cold, probably should have done it right before I did it. Maybe I'll do it again. It's going to be more flexible and really behave a little bit more like maybe like a 14 night tie instead of being an 18 night tie, which is great. And keep in mind, I am looking at this wire through a lens right now. So it's a little bit trickier. So maybe I'll do this one first. Yes. But, you know, I can save a wire. So maybe my first wire could be that 16 or an 18 if I use copper, you know, because it makes it temporarily more malleable. Now it got stiff again. It's still cold, though. So you can just keep doing this. I mean, to me, it takes more time, but, you know. Let's say patient is going to camp for four months and won't come back. You could use this copper night tie wire and you know patient's not coming back the initial wire could be a stiffer wire and it could last longer of course the rubber o ties still have to be changed so that doesn't really change anything but you could always if you had self-ligating brackets and you can see how it went all the way in i mean normally you couldn't do this that easily with an 18 night tie right but it's definitely going in the slot which is good right i think it's still cold perfect so I'm going to keep rubbing it on the wire so that it's more flexible. The other cool trick you can use is you can use something like a ligature director right here to really get it right in the slot. See that? Now we're in the slot. So, um, you know, it's not for everybody, but it's something that you should consider, you know, having in your armamentarium for sure. And again, sorry, I'm doing this through the, the camera lens, so it's a little trickier for me to do this. But definitely, I mean, I think it's a, it's a helpful tool to have um, for that patient that maybe can't come in as often or, you know, is going out of town. Or if you just really don't hate changing wires and you just want to have the initial wire be a little bit stiffer, keep in mind the patient is going to be more sore. So... But if you're putting in a stiffer wire, you need it to be fully, fully in the slot. And this will help you get the wire fully in the slot. You know, everything is fully ligated here, as you can see. So, you know, and you would never, never expect that from an 18 night tie as an initial wire. So that's the benefit of the copper night tie. I've got a Kobe hook here, so a little bit trickier to put on. Got it. Okay, so 18 night tie fully ligated thanks to copper night tie and endo ice. I don't know, is it worth it? This is more expensive, so I'm not sure it's something that it's something that I'd use occasionally, but if I had self-ligating brackets, it might make a little more sense because then first visit, you, there's no rubber ties to change anyways, so you could put it at 18 night tie top and bottom. They're gonna be sore, but that darn thing is gonna cook for like four months in the same wire. And theoretically, if you're using virtual check-ins, the patient doesn't even need to come back to the office. You could totally just do virtual check-ins. As long as nothing's broken, it will be completely straight by the time you see him again. And assuming you put your brackets correctly placed. All right. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks so much. That's Copper Night Tie.